down. Right there is good. Yep. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So as you're going around, if she gets slow, you can squeeze a little with your calves or you can cluck or you can kind of squeeze your buttock cheeks together and you can use your butt to drive her. That's your seat. So those are all the options. You don't want to use all three at the same time though. You use one and if one doesn't work, then you use something else. Yeah, you're doing good. And you're just trying to keep that same speed all the way around. They will usually slow down by the gates. Go a little faster. A little bit. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Yep, don't worry about the sneezing. When she sneezes, you just let her sneeze. Now a little faster, because as she sneezed, she lost her speed. Okay. So now we're gonna start the circles. I will tell you when to turn, so don't worry, okay? And when we go to turn, you're gonna kind of twist your body so she knows you're going to turn. Go a little faster. She's at a gate, so she's trying to slow down. Okay. So don't turn, but look at where I am. And now you're going to start turning towards me, but don't hit me. You can go around me or the pole or over the pole, but don't hit us. Yep. And then when you get to the other side, you're going left because this is a circle. Now push her over with your left leg a little. And then if she doesn't go over, you can kind of shift your weight to the right or to the outside. Now you're going to keep going straight. Go a little faster because she slowed down. Yep, so this is our flat walk. So we want to make sure she's walking with energy. Yep, if she speeds up too much, breathe, take your leg off. Now you're going to go straight. That's a good speed. Keep going straight. Okay, now we're going to make our second circle. So you're going to turn, cut across, go all the way towards the rail on the other side, and then I'll tell you when to turn again. We're staying the same direction to the left. So look to your left so she knows she's going left towards my barn. Yeah, now stay out there for a couple seconds. Now you're gonna turn and cut across again. So this is our second circle. Yep, so hold her kind of straight. And again, anytime she speeds up, think of taking your leg off and breathing or doing one and then the other. So look to the left towards the barn so she knows where to go. Now go a little faster and go straight. That's good. You're doing good. I know this is hard. Yeah, just stay out there and just keep flat walking. A little faster. You're doing good. Yep, just stay out there. And then we're gonna start our last circle which I'll tell you when to turn. Okay, so we're gonna start turning now. So turn your body first and look over at the other side and then go all the way across and then kind of look towards that round pen as you're getting over there so she knows where to go. Is that on the left? Left, same direction to the barn, towards your trailer. Yes, so it's a circle, so we always go the same way. Now just go straight. Go a little faster. Yep. So that's the hard part is just feeling the speed and trying to keep that same speed all the way around. Okay, so I'm going to have you stay straight, but what we're going to do is stop her. So I want you to take a deep breath in and out, breathe out, take your leg off. Good. Now just give her a scratch and we're going to take a break for a second. And now we're going to do a leg yield, which can confuse everybody. Go a little faster walk. But look where I am. Now turn and come towards me. So stare at me, stare at my head, get her straight. Now shift your weight that way, right leg off, left leg on, and look that direction. Slow down, so hold. That's it, a little less leg. Lower your hands, not so much rain. Yep, keep shifting your weight to the right till she gets over there. Lift up your right hand, because it's getting a little low. Yep, and then we'll try it on the other side. Yep, now look at me. Come towards me. 
Yeah, now look that direction. So open the door with your right leg, left leg on. Yeah, but don't look that far. You want to look like at the corner. Aim at me. Aim at me. So straight. Now look at the round pen. Yeah, then light pushes with your left leg. That's it. A little slower, so tighten your hands and make sure they're even. Yeah, yeah. So you did good, you're just a little too tense. pushing her over there. Okay. So come towards me, look at me. Now look at my truck. So hands guide, leg lightly pushes. That's good, yeah, good. Now once you get over there, you're gonna keep flat walking. We're gonna go twice around the arena, so just keep going. So no more leg yielding, you just go straight and stay on the rail. Yeah. You're doing good. Hold her straight. Yep. And you want to look exactly where you want to go. No more leg yielding. So just go back on the rail. That's it. So now, even though you're on the rail, you're concentrating on straightness, keeping the same speed, the same rhythm all the way around. Little faster, you're at the gate and she's slowing down. That's good, you're doing good. You're doing fine, don't worry so much. <laughs> you look worried. Yeah, go all the way around again. Just try and keep that same speed. Yep. Very good. It looks very nice. So once we get to the other side, I'm gonna pick a spot and I'm gonna tell you to stop and then back her up. You're gonna be very light with the reins cause she's pretty sensitive now, okay? So when we go to stop, I'll tell you, but we'll kind of breathe out, sit back, say whoa, and then if she doesn't stop, we'll pull, okay? okay. So keep going. Okay, so now we're gonna start. So take your leg off sit back deep breath in and out say whoa and stop yep now i want you to try to back her up look over her head she's yep lean back pull keep pulling until she goes and then release yep then go back more yep and then a little left leg so she straightens out yep good now talk to her and just relax Okay, so when you're ready and you'll look towards your trailer over your right shoulder a little right rein and then your right leg Yep, keep looking at your trailer Hold her so she doesn't walk far and just push with perfect. Yep. Now give her a little scratch Oh, see there she's going so turn her more so she's straight and then when you're ready walk off when you're ready not her because she's always ready Yep, turn her back Good, so now you're gonna walk forward she gets confused, cluck a little bit. If she won't go, turn towards me and then go. Good. Let your rein go a little longer. So now just go straight and go back to your flat walk. So a little faster. Keep going till she's got a faster walk and her head's going up and down. There you go. So all you're doing is going straight, flat walking, and just trying to keep her body straight. It looks great. It's very hard when somebody's staring at you and you haven't ridden in a couple months. <laughs> uh, now she got a little slow, so just a tiny bit fast. There you go. Good. Very nice. Yep, so this is her bad direction. So you might have to hold her more with that right leg so she doesn't cut in. But it's not you, it's her. So a little faster once she's done shaking her head. Yep. 
And just think with your body, keep that right leg there. And then if she's cutting in, keep leaning your body left so she tries to get her weight underneath you. A little faster. Good job. Yeah, and then stay in front of the mounting block. So next time we'll turn earlier. Little faster. That's good, keep going. But again, you're doing excellent for a horse that wouldn't go in the arena and now you're making patterns and stuff. So be proud. It's so nice to be able to do that. Yeah, so it, it can only get better. So now once we get down to that end, and I'll tell you when, we're gonna start our first circle. So we're gonna do everything we did the other direction. Okay. So a little faster walk, cause she's slowing down. And what you're gonna do is once you get up this side, you're gonna turn and cut across in front of me. So when you make this circle, she's gonna cut in. So keep leaning kind of out and keep your right leg on her. Yep, and then twist your shoulders a little to the right and look towards your trailer. Yep, think of where you're going, make sure she knows. Yep, then keep your right leg on her to push her back out there and go back on the rail. And a little faster walk. That's better. So now you just go straight. So these are what they call like a 20 meter circle. Yep, now keep going straight and then I'll tell you when to turn. Your speed's pretty good. Okay, now you're gonna turn and cut across. So keep your right leg on and lean a little to the left and think of bringing your right shoulder back a little towards her tail so you kind of twist your body, yep. So now you turned a little too early for some reason. Okay. So you just went from a 20 meter circle to like 10. So we're all we're doing is the same thing we did the other way, so do it again. So pull your right rein, look across at your truck and aim at your truck. Go all the way to the rail, go all the way across. And then when you get there, turn towards your trailer, which is to the right. So all the way across, all the way. Now look at your trailer. Yeah, turn towards your trailer. Now stay out there, just go straight. Now turn and cut across again. And go straight across. Aim, if there's a horse or a paddock, you aim for that. So this is our second circle. We kind of made a square, but it's fine. At least it's big. Okay. So you'll be turning towards all my horses, that gray horse, look at him. Yep, now go straight and get your speed back. So a little faster, that's good. Now just keep going straight. Don't go any faster than that. Okay, you see where the pole and I am? Okay, so keep going straight. And after your truck, turn and cut across and go between the pole and me. So between the pole and me. Go straight across. <laughs> and then when you get to that chestnut horse, take a right and go towards the gray horse. Yeah, make sure she knows where you're going. Yeah, her head went left, so she thought she was going left. So that's just practice in steering. Yes, but that's why she got confused. Now stay straight and walk faster for her flat walk. So a little faster. So no more circles. Now we're just flat walking and walking straight. And then when we get to the other end, by the round pen, you're gonna turn, come down the quarter line towards me and we're gonna start our leg yielding, okay? A little faster walk. Good, now look where I am. Now start to aim towards me. Now think of shifting your weight that way. Take your left leg off and push with your right leg to get her back over. So I'll push her that direction. If she speeds up, hold her and keep looking that way. You're looking the wrong direction. 
Okay, now stop. Come towards me. So now look at your trailer, shift your weight, dig with your right leg. Pull on the rein. You're getting there. Yep, don't give up. She just says she doesn't like it because it's hard for her. But that you're doing it correct. Now I'll, I'll meet you on the other. So look towards me. As you turn, keep your right leg so she doesn't cut in. Now look at the gray horse. Your hands go towards the gray horse. Right leg, but pull at the same time. Slow down. Very good. All the way to the rail. Now try it one more time on the other side without me being there. Yes. You did good. Yeah. So now you just concentrate on straight. Don't let her look out like she's looking out. She's got to pay attention to what she's doing. And that's a good walk right there. So her mane's kind of shaking back and forth and her head's going up and down. So you're going to go twice around. Every time she sneezes, after she sneezes, make sure she keeps the same speed. So now that you know how to leg yield in all the corners and where she's cutting in, try to think of leg yielding her back out there. Because you're always trying to push them over instead of pulling. You're trying to get their body, just not their head and neck over. That was a good corner. Okay. Now she's, it was very good. She did slow down. So I'm going to pick on you. So go a little faster. <laughs> See, you did one thing right and I pick on something else. I love it. Yeah. So that's good. Now all the way around again. But now that you know how to leg yield, you want to use it all the time on the trail and everything. So the horse gets better and better at it. Very good with your eyes. That was great. Your speed's good. Yep, but you're doing very good. She hasn't tried anything bad. That's a little too fast. So just take your leg off or breathe. I tried to leg yield her over. Oh, okay. And she's fed up. Yep. So then that just means you need to use more rain to hold her as you do it. Okay. But that's okay. You can try it again. Because again, they don't always understand, you know, she's only been doing it a little bit. So you're just trying to tell her every time I push with my leg, I'm going to hold with my hand. So you understand, go sideways, not forward. If you just let your reins go, they don't know the difference in the beginning. The round pen. Leg. Yep. Then hold her so she doesn't walk away and keep pushing with the same leg. Look towards the horses at the barn. That's it. Keep turning. Good girl. Now stop. Good. Now let her just sit there on a loose rein for a so minute. So you're now at a regular walk. So a flat walk is just a little faster. So see how much her head is going up and down? It's not a lot. Yes. So now add just a little bit more speed. And I'm going to tell you when you get there. But it's not very fast. It's like a regular horse's extended walk. So it's the same speed that we've been doing the whole time. So that's it. So don't go any faster. So just concentrate on keeping that speed first. Okay. So I'm gonna talk, you just keep trying to go this speed. So her running walk is not gonna be super fast cause she's on the trotty side. We're in an arena with deep footing, which makes her gonna go more towards a trot and a fox trot, okay? okay. So keep walking, go a little faster cause she slowed down. Good, that's your flat walk. Now you feel how you're rocking back and forth? Yes. So as she goes faster, if she's doing a running walk, you'll have a little of that motion, okay? okay? Or it'll be smooth or a tiny little bump in there, but it shouldn't be bumping up and down the whole time because that'll be your foxtrot. Okay, so now I want you to try to ask for just a little bit more speed. That's good for now. So now just keep that speed. She slow down and don't let her head go side to side. Hold her head straight by just using the rain contact. Now you're not doing anything. You're just trail walking. <laughs> right there's good for her running walk. Okay? Are you serious? Yes. 
Because if you go faster, what did I say? You're on a trotty horse in deep footing, it's gonna make her fox trot. Now go faster, because she slowed down. Hold her head straight. Now she'll be much faster on the trail because it's hard footing, but in here, she's not going to be. Okay, not until she gets more conditioned and can hold it. So go a little faster. A little bit more. That's good, keep going. You got it. Okay, now go a little bit faster because I want you to feel the difference. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Now you feel that it has a little bumpiness to it, but keep going, keep going. Keep going, she's all right. Now it's comfortable, it's just gonna feel a little bit different. Yep. But when you watch the video, nothing's wrong. She's just trying to stop. When you watch the video, you'll see her legs making more of a V. Yep, so go a little faster so you can feel it. So anytime her head's going up and down, but you feel like it's a quarter horse jog, that's her fox trot. Keep going. And it doesn't mean you can't do it, but you have to be able to control the speed so she knows what to do when. Keep going. So you feel that? You're still gating, it's just a different gait. Do you have a question? Well, you slowed back down. <laughs> so, there you go. It was, it was. Now you slowed down and she went out of it. So that's why it's important to contain the speed, you know, and work at one gate. Okay. So now you feel when it gets bumpy. Yes. Okay. So, so what this I is a very hard concept. And if she lets everybody watch her lesson, hopefully she will. Um, this horse is on the trotty side and we're in a deep arena so that makes the horse want to trot more so her speed for her running walk is very slow in here because if she goes faster the horse starts fox trotting because she's on the trotty side in the deep footing where her uh, gait out of the arena is faster because the footing's flat and that helps her gait okay so that's your flat walk now try to get your running walk so remember only just a little faster than you're going And then you just keep playing around, you know, and half halting and sitting back and using your leg. So that's, that's good. See, it's only a little faster, but now she slowed down too much. <laughs> you are doing good. But as you go faster in the arena, you have to get your weight back to help her and keep her head there or higher, not lower. Yeah, and keep a little contact because if you do, then when you half halt, she'll feel it faster. That's good. Yep. So you're not box trotting. You're still moving back and forth in the saddle. So now, even though you're doing well, slow her all the way back down and try it again. Try to go from your trail walk to your flat walk and then your running walk. And you yell out when you have each gate, except this one I know. Yeah, so that was good because you started, you went too fast and you slowed down. So that's awesome. Yep. So keep flat walking. And then when you get up towards those other horses, then start trying to get your running walk again. And then you yell out when you think she's going the right speed. Oh, she did slow down a little. But again, it's a very difficult concept to understand. That's why you really got to know is your horse pacey or trotty. So it will have different speeds on different terrains. Running walk. 
Yes. Yep, and she almost changed and then she didn't. So now just keep going around at your running walk. Go all the way around. But if you feel a bounce, half halt, sit back and keep her head up. But you're doing good right now. Yep, very good. I'm just showing you your seat. So you can see it moving back there. It just went up and down for a second because she started changing gait. So that's her flat walk as long as she doesn't slow down. Go a little faster for her flat walk. I know she's tired. <laughs> that's good. That's a nice flat walk. So when you get down by the gray horse, then we'll speed it up and go towards a running walk. And then you yell out when you think it's pretty good. Yup, good. So go all the way around a couple times. But you can tell her head kind of changes when she starts fox trotting. <laughs> She's like, let's, let's just can her and be done. You're good. Now go up. We'll go around one more time and then we'll give her a break. But you're doing good catching her before she changes speed. You're doing much better. Good job. There she went more towards a fox trot. Now she's back. It's hard getting that feel and knowing when to half halt, use your leg and change your body position. Okay, so when you're ready and she's doing good, pick a place to stop and take a break. Yes, but we're going to give her all those cues first, okay? Okay, so we're going to... Can you steer and do that all at the same time? Or I'll wait to... I'm going to wait till you get to the other side, and then I'm going to tell you, okay? Okay, so keep steering. And remember, you're going to sit just like this. You're not going to lean forward, okay? If anything, you'll lean to the outside. Okay, so we're going to start getting ready. So I want you to squeeze tight on the reins, then relax. Yep. 
Now shift your weight to the outside. Say the word, canter, and dig with your left leg. Let her go, push your hands forward. No, walk, walk. Now we're gonna ask her again. So this is what most people do because they're scared. Don't pull on the reins when we ask her, push your hands forward, okay? Okay, okay. so we're gonna try it again. So when, and when you half hold, don't do it as hard. You did it too hard. So right now, just a light half hold, squeeze, relax, shift your weight to the left, left leg, say canter. Push your hands forward and cluck. You got it, let her go, let her go, let her go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now steer, look across. You're fine, keep going, cluck, 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 cluck. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Let her go. Good. Now just walk, so easy, walk. Good job. Okay, so just relax a little bit for a couple seconds. Okay, so now very lightly, a squeeze and relax on the rein. Shift your weight to the outside. Say canter and start digging with your leg. Spinner, spinner, spin, spin, beat her up. Beat her up, come on, hit her with that stick, lean back. Keep turning, now go straight, the same direction you were going. Walk off, now ask her to canter again. So left leg, clock. Canter, let her go, let go of the reins. Keep going, keep going, you got it, just lean back. Lean back, lower your hands, lower your hands. Keep them low. Yeah, it's just your sticks waving. Yeah, it's because you're hitting her with your stick by accident. So just walk, yeah, just walk. Keep walking, keep walking. You don't want to stop by the mounting block, okay? Okay. All right, now you can stop. Yes, we got time to go. You can always grab the mane or the horn. Okay, so half halt lightly, shift your weight to the right, right leg and say canter. Try not to pull on her, keep squeezing, cluck. You got it, you had it, and then you pulled on her. Let her go, let her go, just steer, cluck. Where's the barrel racer? Yep, good. Lower your hands. Use your leg. Your leg is flopping around. Try to push your leg back. I just lost my yep. So say whoa. whoa. Breathe. See how she'll stop? Yeah. But don't do that. Don't what? You don't go for your stirrup until you're stopped. Because your horse is moving, and She's then you'll kick them, and they'll keep going. You yeah. canter super fast. Okay. You'll throw them off balance. Yeah. Okay. And we don't want to scare her. We want this to be a fun thing. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start now. You're going to keep walking, but a very light half halt. Shift your weight to the right, push your hands forward, ask her to canter. Keep digging, push your hands forward, let her go. She's got it. Push your hands down, cluck, 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 low hands, don't squeeze. Push your hands forward, cluck. She's fast enough. Your hands should be low and forward. That's fine, actually stop, it's fine.